What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And today I'm joined with Mark Cruz of Nikon. How you doing? Great. Thanks for having me, Ryan. Hey, so about two years ago, we did a video and we were talking about the success of the Z9. How does it feel to be here two years later talking about the success of another great flagship camera with the Z8? I was especially excited to be here at WPPI because I think this was really the market that was that the Z8 was made for. We had a lot of excitement with the Z9, but the, the size of it, it's not necessarily for everyone. We know wedding professionals, they can shoot for 10 hours a day and they might be carrying two cameras with them. So the weight of the Z9 tends to make it um, unattracted for a certain segment of the population, despite the, the good uh, ergonomics of it and the good features. But the fact that we came out with a camera in the Z8 that had no compromises, same sensor, same processor, same frame rate, same video capabilities, every single spec in the camera um, from the Z9 is in the Z8, uh, made it such a huge success for us. So we're really excited to deliver that, especially to this crowd. Also because it's our first real smashing hybrid camera. When you talk about the video, 8K video, raw 60p in camera, that's something that this customer segment has never seen before. Couple with that, the last few months where we came out with the Plena 135mm 1.8. If you haven't heard about that lens, it's a special lens that has its own name. We call it the Plena. And we also have the 85mm 1.2 now, 50mm 1.2, and of course the Noct. So, this is a, this for Nikon shooters. It's a really exciting time, especially because of the Z8. And I'll tell you one more thing that you, your customers, or your viewers might not know of. We just launched a new firmware for it, 2.0. And so that firmware unleashed so many new um, portraits, um, specific features, new picture controls, new skin softening features, new portrait impression balance. Really exciting platform for the portrait specialist. Now, if it's one thing that I've seen that the Z8 has done is all the people that kind of was on the fence that were D850 owners, they finally started to make that transition now. And I think that with that camera, it's a really good camera for them to make that transition into. So I guess with that point, I kind of want to go into more of like, are there any plans for like the Z7 II line? Because, you know, at first a lot of people thought that that camera was supposed to be like the D850 replacement. And personally, I use that camera for everything. I, I'm a Z7 II uh, user. So is there any update maybe on like if there's going to be anything with the Z7 II line or maybe a Z7 III or <laughs> well, a Z5 II or anything like that? I'll tell you what, our policy is never really to comment on future product. What I can tell you is this, the Z8 uh, represents about, you know, maybe like a $1,500 price difference between that and the Z9. And that uses the X-Speed 7 processor. I'll tell you what we just released is a camera called the ZF. And uh, I have it right here, the ZF. Check this out. The ZF has the X-Speed 7 processor. So if you can see the trend here, this X-Speed 7 processor is making its way into cameras around the $2,500 price point. Or sorry, this is actually a $2,000 price point um, with the ZF. So it has a lot of the similar capabilities, autofocus capabilities, uh, video capabilities. We can do internal log with this. So I guess what I can say is, with the 7, 2, and, um, and the 5, those are using X-Speed 6 uh, processors. So those won't have the same capabilities, uh, just in terms of speed, frame rate, and, and stuff like that. But going forward into the future, you can see the trends that we have now with the Z9, Z8, and as well as the ZF. Gotcha. Yeah. And I guess the last thing I want to close out with, because these rumors have been floating around hot, about the, the hype around the Z6 III. Oh, <laughs> again, same thing, uh, Ryan. Our policy is we don't comment on the future, but I can tell you this. Um, the Z-Line, it's a lot of excitement around it because of the mount system. That mount brings us a lot of advantages in our optical design. Um, the, the bodies are always gonna improve, and as you can see through the platform that we've instituted in the Z and the uh, X-Speed 7 technology, we can do so much with that. You think about the firmware updates we've launched for the Z9, four major firmware updates, everything from unleashing raw video to auto capture to uh, new end log uh, options that recorded at, at uh, 200 ISO. This platform is so powerful, it gives our architects and engineers 
so much time to continually develop even within the lifespan of that product. So all I can say is there's a lot of excitement for existing product using the XSpeed 7 platform because it's so robust. And going into the future, we're definitely going to leverage that. Nice. Nice meeting with you. And I'd love to be here for some more successes in the future. All right, man. Glad to have you.